Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. My name is Tracy Winesapple. You guys are live in my studio. It is five o'clock somewhere. Actually, it's five o'clock right now. It's 5.30. All right. Welcome, you guys. What a day. What a day. What a day. Oh, I need to turn off my, I think my, um, drop me a comment if you're here. Hopefully my Wi-Fi is working. We are under, ah, Jan Golden, Ann. Okay. We're live. Mm. Hi, guys. Ha. Ah. What a day. So, hi, Terry. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Becky. So, I had really good intentions and accidentally this morning posted to my business page, how do you cook a tri-tip? Um, I guess I didn't need to worry about it. Um, <laughs> how was dinner? What did you make? I'm getting takeout. <laughs> it's turned out great. Thank you for all of your comments. I didn't realize if I put real life on my face. Did you figure it out? Yes, I did. I brought the potatoes out. I brought the, I was going to peel them. I had the onions out. Um, we're going to do take out. We're going to order. I know. There we go. All right. So behind the scenes, Acting as Tracy Winesapple Studios is my lovely assistant, Anne. Anne, take a bow. Um, thank you. She will be there in the background answering any questions and supporting in any way necessary. Um, the day got away from me. We're doing takeout. <laughs> um, so I've had a day. So glad to calm down with you, Denise. Um, let's do it. All right. Let, there's actually a couple of big things that were happening and we were just making sure my team just is amazing. And, um, some of, you know, um, uh, you work with me now and I just have, I, obviously Anne is there in support, but it takes a village to make things run around here. And um, the next challenge was announced. Oh, I should have taken a screenshot or something from it. I didn't. Well, I'll give you the link. Well, Anne can give you the link. I didn't take a screenshot and I'm sorry, but I don't need to because here it is. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I do $10 challenges, $10. Cool thing about this, it is totally um, three-dimensional. It's popping, it's off the page, and there's lots of fun techniques, and every single person can do it. If you are new and joining me here tonight, um, I get uh, a lot of new people here and never have picked up a paintbrush. They're just curious, what is she all about? What is she doing? Hold on, I gotta turn the sound off of this computer. I don't know why it's on. Screen. Oh, it's I off. like the leak. Oh, turn it off. Just close it. Okay. So this is the next $10 challenge. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Um, it is March 6, 13th through the 16th at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because I asked you when you wanted to do it and you told me when you wanted to do it. And I believe that I got to listen to everything you guys tell me because you have never led me wrong. So this is the challenge. It's on a 12 by 12 canvas. If you're not comfortable working on a canvas, you can do this in your art journal. So please don't let that stop you. Um, and then you might see another one. This is another offering. This, well, I just whacked my, myself in the nose. Um, so this, if you're curious uh, this is an offering as well. It's nothing bonus. You don't need to do this at all. It uses the same materials. I thought she needed a sister. Wait, they go better this way. So anyway, um, I couldn't be more thrilled to share a sign of spring because 
I live in Southern California. Today I have had hail, pouring down rain, cold, sun, hail, rain, sun. It's like mother nature is in menopause and I don't want to make her upset because I just got through menopause. I understand what she's going through, but if she wants to throw a heat wave my way, I would be so thrilled. For those of you who are anywhere other than North Carolina, I don't know what Florida is doing, but there's a, my dad was like, um, the Carolinas are like warm. So if you're in a small pocket of the United States, you're okay. Everybody else is totally screwed. But I'm going to say March 13th through the 16th, we are going to do spring. I don't care what the weather is like. So um, it is the 13th through the 16th. The cost is $10. The material list is minimal. Okay, so Southwest Florida is hot. So if you're in the Carolinas down to Florida, you're the only people who might be happy at this time. Um, Denise said snow, ice, and cold here. Oh, my God. All right. I'm sorry. It's Thank you, Donna. Thank you, sisters. Um, we will be in the 80s tomorrow. Where? Oh, that is. Okay. No, we've got a cold front moving in, and it's horrible. Okay. So let me give you the deets. When you sign up, the cost is $10. No, I'm sorry, the supplies are not included because for $10, you're getting a lot more. Um, and I want you to use the supplies you have on hand. I say this all in, all the time. You could do this on paper. You could even Palm Desert. See, Palm Desert is windy in 55. Palm Desert, the word is desert, okay? It's not that way. Anyway. So I just want to tell you the weather is kitten frightful. So for $10, uh, there's four days of lessons. We have three giveaways. I will talk about those. Um, when you sign up, you're going to know what you're doing each and every day. If you've never picked up a paintbrush, I'm your girl. Um, I believe in teaching from to all levels. And we're going to have this done by the end of the four days. So just know it's step by step by step. Who has taken one of my art challenges and can attest to what I'm talking about? Please speak up because I want to hear from you. So um, I'll put this aside. When you sign up, and just so you know, um, the surface is a canvas, but you can do it on paper. I don't mind. Um, I use gesso. You can use, hi, Kimberly Woods. We were waiting for you. Yeah, I was like, is she going to show up? She's six minutes late. Um, Bron, I did get your email today, and I will address. Uh, you guys, for... I, oh, my goodness. Okay, just if you have taken one of my challenges before, I mean, if you have something not so nice to say, maybe I won't share your comment. Um, but, no, I just am going to go random here. I can only do so much. So the challenges are great. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, me. I love them. Oh, I just happened to go on Elizabeth. Oh, she got it. Um, hi, Sue Hammond. Um, okay, I'm just going down the line. Hold on. I'm just going down the line. Hold on. I'm going to do this. Thank you. And I want you, by the way, it's not about the challenge. It is about the techniques you get. Um, the first, oh, you guys. All right. I'm excited. Wait, I got a newbie. Hold on. This is going too fast. This is going too fast. Okay. So I, <coughs> thank you. So I'll just go through it. When you sign up, by the way, you get a list. There's live links. You can go to the links. You don't have to buy anything. If you take this, you can watch the videos and videos over and over and over and over again. I just want you to, uh, oh, that, oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Oh, finally catch it. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just trying to go down the line. Thank you. Um, so you get a complete supply list with live links. Um, my suggested colors, that doesn't mean 
Uh, they're hard to get. They're expensive. Use what you have. Use what you have. I'm just suggesting my color palette. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Did I answer this? That was my, you guys. <laughs> I did not set them up to say this. So I just want to thank you. If you're new to my Wednesday demos, I do demo free. doesn't cost you anything. You, we will never talk again. We're good. I'm an artist. I make a living do this. But every Wednesday, I meet with you guys to just paint. If you're new, you've never seen me before, uh, you want to introduce yourself. I, I don't know if I would at this point. It's going so fast. But if you just want to say hi, I would love it. Uh, there's a lot of people who lurk and uh, maybe aren't ready to jump in, but I'm here to support you. Okay. Um, I will start painting in five minutes. I get seven minutes. Uh, the sugar skull was my favorite. Um, so today, thank you very much. Some of you joined me for art camp. Um, yeah. And can you give the link to the challenge? Thank you. I know you are. Kimberly Wood. By the way, I like to tell people, Kimberly Wood gets her name. Here's the thing. If you just are doing this for your mindset, your happiness, if you're doing this to have an escape, if you're saying to your husband on every Wednesday, I just want to be with Tracy at 530, that's it. That's good. But some people are turning things into a business. They want to know, how is your setup? What are you doing? Well, Kimberly Wood, by the way, is making a business out of this. Oh, shoot. I don't know how to hide her. <laughs> um, so she's lying. Kidding. Um, Kimberly Wood, Wood is good. <laughs> um, uh, Joanne says, I can't see anything. Joanne, I'm here. Who did the art camp with me today? Hold on. I'm going to show you what we made. And we're going to, okay, we made this. We did this. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to work backwards. Okay. Oh, Joanne is here. We're going to work backwards. I had somebody make a comment on my Facebook page, which I love a good constructive comment about like my recipe, which I have a recipe. I mean, sometimes I work this way to here. Sometimes I work this way to here. Um, and she was like, I like this better than what you normally do. And I was like trying to think what my norm was. And I know I mix it up a lot, but here's the thing. I want you guys to experience art in a demo like we are in right now this demo um and i want you to learn different techniques that you can pull together so if you were in my art camp this morning we did it one way we're gonna change it up all right uh can you link art camp somehow i missed it karen if you go to my facebook page tracy Winesapple studios and just go down a couple of posts because sometimes you have to go search me or say, hey, make this girl. I, I don't I'll, I'll, I don't have the link. If you just go down two or three past the meat post from this morning, <laughs> get past the meat post because I didn't mean to post that to my business page. It's tri-tip. And go to the art camp. There was a schedule and a link and a Facebook page. You can watch the replay. Okay, so if you just wanna do that, go down, past the meet post. It was posted on Tuesday. So just go to Tracy Wines Apple Studios, which is where you're at right now. Okay, the last thing I am going to stay, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to hide anything. That was the space I'm in. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for the response to my new stamps. 
Some of you may or may not know that I do a uh, licensed art. Oh, do I not have a photo of my, let's see if I can, okay. Let's see if I can share it, but I'll just show them to you. Um, if some of you do not know or do know, as an artist, I am a licensed artist and I do work with a company called Dare to Be Artsy. I have been so fortunate to make wonderful friends in this industry and um, the owner who I was just on the phone with. In fact, if you're watching me with Dare to Be Artsy, my new stamps are out. Now, I have them before they do. I love you guys. And you, the response to my stamps was something I have never experienced in my life. I was up until midnight. Um, oh, I don't, my phone is here. Um, uh, somebody said, caption has your name as Wines Apple. No, it better not. <laughs> my name is Tracy Wines Apple. It means apple wine. Um, but here's the thing. Um, I, here they are. I have never, I was up till midnight. I got every single order out, including three that were placed this morning. I've never had a response. My fourth stamp is coming out um, tomorrow. No, like next week, because I have a fourth. Um, and also there are gonna be dyes, metal dyes that you put through a metal machine. Tell me what that thing is called. I have a spellbinders machine. Can somebody tell me what that's called? It's a die cut machine, die cut machine. And um, these have die cuts with them. Uh, so, and you will be able to cut like this stamp, this stamp, and like this stamp. Like you get different sizes with it. Okay. So Sizzix, there we go. There's an example. I'm not really good at this stuff. So we're going to use my new stamps tonight. There is no obligation to buy. There, nobody has to buy anything. I just wanted to share. Um, I nearly sold out of my first pre-order. I had over 55 orders go out this morning. And I, my, my UPS girl, postage girl was so happy. I put all of them neatly and protected them with a garbage bag. <laughs> she was laughing. I've just never had that response. So thank you. Okay, Gemini, die cut, Sizzix, Spellbinders, Tim Holtz, whatever, Simon Hurley, whatever you can roll through a thing. Okay, who wants to pay? We're done. Uh, so they're on my, uh, I will fill what pre-orders I can because I put them on sale and then I'm done. Okay. Yeah, name your die cut machine. Uh, I feel like, I feel, name your die cut machine and we'll see where that goes. All right, now let's talk uh, art journaling. Da, 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 da. Who has a ton of energy today? All right, here's my art journal for those of you who don't know what an art journal. Oh, Cindy is late to the party. We're going to have to rewind everything. Cindy, you might want to watch from the beginning. All right. So this is my art journal. Some is good. Some is bad. Sizzix Big Shot. Thank you. I don't know. This was two weeks ago that we did live. Okay. Two weeks ago. I'm going to stand up. And by the way, when I end this program, see my shirt? If somebody reminds me. I'm going to turn this shirt around and wear it as I have worn it for the last three time periods. And I want you to tell me which way is the right way. <laughs> so somebody remind me and because I've worn it three times. This is the first time I've worn it this way. I haven't. Uh oh, love your singing. Okay. I got to sing tonight. Two weeks ago. This is what we did. Oh, this was watercolor pencils. Um, Cecilia, I have a new, people asked me about this shirt this morning and I added it to my Amazon shirt. All right, you sounded better. Oh, hello, because my speaker's right here. Hello, how are you? Okay, um, this was last week. We did an abstract uh, uh, garden of delight. 
And then we're going to talk about, this was me painting in my bed. This was art camp. So let's paint. What is that noise? If you're ordering right now, I can't fill it. Okay, let's paint. Let's paint, kids. All right. So uh, what do we want to do first? I'm going to use painter's tape. I know. I'm so I'm closer to the um, camera. And sorry, I'm going to turn on my other camera, if you don't mind. Oh, y'all are messaging. I shouldn't say anything at the beginning. I should save it, the good stuff, for the end. Uh, hold on. I got to get my camera going. I like to time lapse my videos because my team likes when I have something fast and easy to share, which is, okay, is that in the way? No, no, no. Okay. 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 All right. Now, hold on. Before I forget, I'm flipping my shirt so that when I get done, because by the way, if I stain it, it'll be on the back. Uh, oh, you guys are so good. Okay. Hold on. Flipped said shirt. So now when I get something on it, it'll be on the back side. Okay. And then you're going to tell me what is the right side of this dang shirt that I do like? All right. Painter's tape. Super inexpensive. I just like it. We're working in watercolors. Grab out your watercolors. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. My camera's crooked. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, ooh. Ah. Uh. I got to pull that down. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. I didn't mean to mess that up. Okay. There we go. Thank you for the reminder. If somebody says to me that's obvious that I had it wrong, I'm going to be so bummed about the shirt because <laughs> I'm hoping that somebody will wear it the wrong way many a time. Now, I made little one little boo-boo this morning, and I didn't put my tape down very tightly. What you want to do is run your fingers along the inside because you don't want the paint to be escaping underneath the tape. This is a really good quality uh, paint. Oh, you know what? I know what the problem is. I haven't muted my own. Hold on. There we go. There will be no more dinging. It's very distracting to me. We're going to use basic watercolors. And when I say basic, I'm going to use the same set of watercolors I used this morning. I left them up to dry. So when I say basic, I like the classics. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's do this. Okay. They're just here. So I'm not going to use anything special. There's no magic behind my, I like, um, an archival ink pad. I have an acrylic block. Don't worry. If you don't have stamps, <laughs> my house and hands are too cold. So I will snuggle in and watch tonight. Um, Denise, I almost thought you asked if anybody wants to snuggle. I was a little worried that we were going to do that, but we're good. So if anybody uh, doesn't have stamps, do not worry. We're going to take the concept I did this morning and we're going to reverse engineer it because I want somebody to know that I can do stuff backwards. So, oh, I'm not going to do it, but I love that stamp. All right. So here we go. And we're just going to mix up. So I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of stamping, but we're going to draw and then we're going to melt it all together. So I get my stampers. I get everybody together because I love to play. I love LA. No. Okay. I don't love LA. So I always have a, this is a scrap piece of, I make my own scrap pads because I, Recycle. So I like to stamp first because, oh, that was gorge. That never happens. That never happens. Now, let's change it up. We're going to, uh oh, I'm stamping on the, yeah, that didn't work. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't need perfect images, by the way, but I do have ink on here. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to make sure I have this sort of lined up right. No, hold on. 
Well done. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. You got to make sure the stamp. I knew that was kind of going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen. So who's panicking? Okay. Yeah. I stamped in. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to fix that. All right. So I'm going to do that. I think right now, everybody's going to be like, this is not going to turn out. Well, I agree with you, but I don't. Okay? I don't agree with you because I can prove there's stampers out there screaming right now at me and saying, you should be doing it this way. I know. I should be. I'm just going to do it my way. All right. Don't worry. See, I'm going much better over there. Okay. Keep going. They do stamp really well. So don't even think for a second. I'm just, I'm, we're going to draw. <laughs> the ink stamps sticks better to the ink, but I'm just doing a bad job at stamping. So that's why I'm doing this. But now I want to draw. Okay. So she, this, what is very unlevel, because I'm working on a book, this is very level. But I'm not worried about anything, because I normally do this. And all right. So one, two, three. We're going to draw more. <laughs> Joanne goes, we saw the miracle of her stamping. We know she can do it. <clears throat> like, I'm going to reverse this. So if you got an ultra fine Sharpie, I love these. I love these because I love all the different wisps. And I start out quite light. Okay, so somebody has witnessed. I know what I'm doing, but don't worry. Now I'm reversing what I did this morning. Okay, so I'm going to take a pen. And we're just going to start out. Oh, yeah. We're just going to start out. We're relaxing. We're playing. Do you see how I'm holding this pen? And I want to tell you, I am normally done no later than 630 because I have to get takeout. And boom, boom, boom. I know they look different. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to be fine. I normally, I'm going to do five flowers. I don't know if somebody has a request of a certain flower, but I don't. And this is the point where, yes, I panic too and wonder if this is even going to remotely come together. And I do. I do. I wonder. Um, and this morning I started with color. So one, one, two, three, four, five. You know, we need something in here. Now, I would normally stamp all my designs if I'm stamping. But I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, we're playing. And then over here, there's like something. If you guys could see how I sit while I'm drawing, it's like, okay. So that's, oh, that needs another petal. It's like off. All right. One, there's enough. Let's do a couple of leaves, but I want to leave like a little bit of dead space, negative space. They're not, it's not dead. And normally like, uh, I'll show you the postcards that I made. Uh, your Artful Journey members, guess what we're stamping this month? Uh, and pull out those old stamps y'all have been hanging on to. I'm just making, I'm putting some leaves. I feel like this is going to have a different color scheme. Okay. Uh-oh. Mariana has, oh, it's, oh, Marianne or Marianne, because I never know. Oh, uh, total confidence. I don't know about that. 
Now, uh, I'm feeling like I'm digging the ugly stage, but we're going to have to get out of that at some point. Otherwise, you're never going to come back. So we've got one, two, three, four leaves. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I need one more leaf. <coughs> Excuse my cough. I, sorry, I apologize. Let's do it here. Okay. I don't know if I'd have total confidence in me, but I would just, let's have fun. If nothing else all hell happens with this, let's have fun. All right. So you do know that these do stamp well. I can push this aside. Thank you. Marcia says, I know her stamps work. You do, you should, I should have actually put this flat on the surface, but I didn't. And I don't care. This never means anything to me because I'm taking the water bottle and I am spraying and priming my watercolors. What does that mean? Um, I, I'm just getting those all ready, wetting those all up, making them juicy. Um, and then here, I know this is going to bug some people, but I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to spray the surface of my paper and I'm going to let the watercolors fall where they may and we're going to not follow the lines. Okay, this is a number four watercolor brush, that's Dynasty Gold Brush. I love this. It's a number four. It's round. It's great. Now, I will switch the colors up so we don't, but I love me a good yellow. Those are probably yellow, maybe a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of yellow and orange. So, you know, this is going to, it's going to start moving and shaking. But I'm going to go with, um, oh, do I go with greens and teals? Are there teal? Ugh. Ugh. All right. I'm struggling because there's, all right, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go with um, teals because I love me a good teal. Oh, my God. We are so coloring this in. Um, teal. How many of you are following the lines right now and being like, okay, she is going way outside of my norm in my comfort level. Those are leaves. Oh boy. Those are leaves. Yeah. Those are leaves. There's a leaf. There's a leaf in my world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Listen, I kind of said it. We're doing teals. I said it. We're 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 doing it. I said I was switching the colors up. I kind of meant it. Um, we're making muddy funny. Well, uh, let's get up. Let's hit some blues. Let's hit the blues. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Sorry. Oh, mom, sorry. When you put that orange in there, it's like the demise of you. How many of you right now are just having a heart attack that we are just doing this like this? I have a kind of a small brush for what I'm doing, um, which I'm doing that just because I used it this morning and it was such a good brush, but don't worry if this makes a little bit of mud, all you got to do is, um, just draw it all back and let's go in heavier with the yellows because we love a good yellow. Okay. You know what this is? This is called relaxing. I don't intend to usually hit the ugly stage as much as I'm hitting it right now, but I'm okay with it. You got to keep it working. You got to keep it working. Okay. I love me a good teal. So I'm just going to keep hitting the teal. I'll throw the yellow in there. Yes. 
Okay, great. And then we'll, I just like to keep people on their toes. There we go. What do you think? Oh my God, everybody's, oh, oh, Virginia's having a heart attack. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's part of the, part of the game plan. You know, this is, what is this? It's just a piece of paper. If you can't have fun on this piece of paper with me right now, we got a problem. So relax. Hi, Sarah. We were waiting for you. Um, I was waiting for you before I made this pretty. So thank you for showing up because otherwise we're in the ugly zone and we're hitting it hard. We're hitting it fast. And we're hitting it bad. Okay. So, you know, for those of you who like to follow the lines, I get it. I, I was not the in the lines kind of gal. So uh, I was cause I have OCD, but uh, I learned early on that you can make or, your own way. Okay. Dr. Seuss did it. If he can do it, we can do it. All right. It's just fun with paper. Oh, I'm even using dirty water, but look at that. Let's, there's the middle of that. All right. Now I'm getting really sloppy. So let's just dry this up. I've used the smallest brush to tackle the largest job, but that's okay. Okay. We got it. We're done. <laughs> so now, now we need to dry this. Otherwise I'll be here and sell 7.45 tomorrow morning. I'm wondering if Anne right now is sitting there going, oh God, I hope she pulls this through. <laughs> I'm using a heat gun. Oh, I love this. Yes, me too. I have very bad OCD. You can tell by the lineup. So if anybody captured like me at art camp this morning, I did this a different way this morning. And I just want to share that there are many ways to get to the point of where you're happy. <laughs> okay. Um, Billy, wait, I probably shouldn't add, add people to the comments. Billy, um, there are so many places in life to be far more perfect. I mean, I don't think an accountant could do this because I just want you to enjoy the process. Yeah. An accountant can't do this. They have to be, you know, linear and that's the way it goes. But Billy, don't give up. Keep going. And this is why I encourage people to draw and paint with me because I don't want us all to be in the lines all the time. It's kind of the worst place to be all the time. Listen, you should drive between the lines. I agree with that. Maybe you shouldn't always, I got to make sure this is down. You shouldn't always paint. I like to do this. I like to keep back. It's just a piece of paper. This is your diary. This is where you are. It's your safe space. You don't need to share this. It doesn't have to go in the Sistine Chapel. Why are you putting that pressure on yourself? Why don't you relax and just enjoy the process and take it for what it's worth? What? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, just to be clear, I all of the accountants in my world, oh my goodness, it is a way that an accountant can, but I'm just telling Linda that an accountant has to be an exact because <laughs> that's my accountant. <laughs> But it's a way to release. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All of the accountants out in the world, I hope you're still exact. But it's a way to release and not be perfect. I thought she was on the road. I thought that I could talk about accountants safely. All right. So we've hit the point of ugly. How are we going to get out of this? <laughs> I'm asking myself that very question. All right. Here we go. So you noticed my little flowers. Grab your ultra fine Sharpie. How many of you worried that the watercolors had a mind of their own? How many of you are worried that I no longer have an accountant, a bookkeeper, or a CPA? <laughs> 
other than me. I just want to know. <laughs> there we go. So how are you holding your pen at this moment? Oh, Terry says, I actually don't think it's ugly. <laughs> it's tax season. You're going to get a lot of accountants in here. That's true. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, why let somebody think so? See, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This is why I don't want to be in the position of ever ranking people. All right. Uh, so uh, I just took a very, just take an ultra fine Sharpie. I should be using a Sharpie. Hold on. I just love these pens. Just take my painting to the next level. So I'm going to do it. Okay. So, oh, I'm going to. Now, if you're holding your pen and you are like leaned over, hunched over, you're squeezing it until you can't breathe, you're not relaxed. I can pretty much guarantee that. Um, just so you know. And by the way, these pens don't change my drawing at all. It's just, I like to start out very thin, very light. I would love to, I did start out thin life. <laughs> I just decided to gain happy pounds. And this is where I told you, I don't care if those stamps go on there perfectly. Normally I do get them better. This might be the world's worst demonstration of a stamp, but here we go. We'll find the stamp. The other thing about my stamps, just so you know, look at this. They're all pre-printed so you can put them back, which I love. And look, they all have, oh, did I not use this? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. So like here, I messed this up. It, and let's be clear, this is messed up. But it's really not if I just go back in, I look at the photo and I say, okay, now I do have a bit of a, uh, and they're clear, so you can re-stamp over them, which I should have done, but I don't need to. We'll figure that out. Um, one little stamp at a time. You could even stamp over your images. By the way, you can stamp over this watercolor totally fine. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. You're going to literally be going right over those lines that I drew for you in the stamp, but you're going to find them again. And this is why I tell you, you've got stamps in there that somebody else drew. Okay. Okay. We know what this one looks like. Okay, we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna, now this one I did like a bunch of little dots. Um, if you ordered the stamps, by the way, they are, if you already pre-ordered them, they're on the way. I was up till nearly midnight last night and made it a point that every single one was going out. So uh, somebody asked me to cover the difference between stamp inks. I am using a, ranger archival stamp that is permanent because i i could spray water over these and they're not going to go over there but they're not going to go anywhere so i just want to point out you don't want to use something that is uh pigment based that is just going to fly right off of the paper i'm using a permanent waterproof and it says right on there permanent acid free permanent waterproof okay so, so just so you know, so this is why I was telling you, it didn't matter whether I stamped the image or I drew the image. I want you to know that you have the ability to come in here and just have fun, but make sure you're relaxed and holding your, um, pen really loosely. That's, that's step number one. I can walk around in a room and I can see how people are hunched over. And I know right away, I know they're, they're not relaxing. Now, for those of you who are worried that there's, this is not going to come through. 
Oops, I'm going to. I like to scribble. We're going to take, if you have a fine Sharpie, because we're going to get to the, the good parts. Can you skip to the good part? I don't think I've sang it all. All right, let's up our game to 1.0. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, I do. I draw right on the painter's tape because what that does is allow me to keep going with my flow. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Do you see how we're just scribbling? Oh, Virginia is feeling better. She's feeling a little bit more on board because for a minute there she thought I had gone off the rails. And it's okay. You guys can say. I'm still having fun. So I figure if this goes to heck in a handbasket, it's just a piece of paper. And maybe I owe you an hour of your time back. Um, but I can't give the gift of time. Uh, I just can't. So I appreciate when you guys stick with me, when you just decide to have fun with me. But I agree. I, for a second, was thinking, holy moly, what am I doing? But you know what? I'm loving this process. I want to know who's, I, I know many of your Artful Journey members just paint right with me and they, are you guys painting with me? I have the most awesome member. Uh oh, this pedal got abandoned. What happened here? Okay, it's back. I wonder if anybody's digging out the thousands of years of stamps that they have collected. And listen, I'm, I love my stamp, fellow stamp designers. I want to know who's digging out stamps and rethinking their whole purpose. Because there's plenty of cards to be made and postcards. Oh, my God, I hear the weather. Yeah, that bright orange, I was having my doubts because I was thinking that orange has the tendency to make mud the most. It's like, the, to me, it doesn't get along with all the other colors. I mean, it does get along with many of them. Now, see even my stamped images. See, I reversed this. This morning, I put the color down first. This time, I went and put the stamp down and of course my stamps were that great but that didn't matter because we can we can still figure this out we've got the pictures of the stamps but i'm still gonna go either way i'm still gonna go over them and just add oh my god this weather let's just hope this wi-fi just keeps going strong kimberly orange is your favorite color i love that it's it's oh shoot i just went along the painter's stick. Orange for me is one of the hardest colors to work with. That's just me personally. I know many who say that's crazy. But do y'all notice I am retracing my lines and not trying to match them. I'm just having fun with them. Oh, this weather. Now we got to scribble. We got to scribble. We just, we just have to. How much time do I have left? Yeah, I promise you a work of an art in less than an hour. So I got to get to there. Okay. Ooh, this is a thick pen. And do I promise you a work of art? I promise you nothing. I promise let's just have fun.
Um, I'm making. Why are you in so late? Mendez, uh, why are you in so late? I'm so late? Sorry, Mendez, um, I'm not, I, I, I normally go till about 6.30 Pacific Standard Time, so. I'm not running behind yet, but I'm close. Okay. So, you get it. We've got it. I'm going to do something else before I add some more depth to this. Okay. I'm going to take my watercolors back. Where are they? I did that this morning. Uh oh, where are my watercolors? Where'd they go? Hello. Where did you go? Watercolors, you're there. Oh, I'm trying to decide on the color now because I kind of want to mix that up a little bit. Well, maybe I do mix it up. Oh, I'm not on late. I don't think so. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix that and mix that. I'm going to put a little bit of black in there. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, too much. Too much. Oh, no. Don't like that color. Skip to the good part. There we go. Good. There we go. Now I'm going to come in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I could have done this a little differently, but I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to come in with that same teal color. I kind of darkened it up, add a little bit of blue. I'm going to go into all of that negative space that I have. And I did this that this morning, and people are like, wow, I didn't realize that would do that. I didn't realize you can go over your watercolors. Yes, you can go over your watercolors as much as you want. It does feel like I've been going all day, so maybe I am on late. Okay. I'll try to fill this in. I miss you too. I'll try to fill this in as quickly as I can, but you kind of understand what I'm doing. And it's going on dry, so it's going to be pretty. And I'm just going to mix into there a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that color, now that it's dry, because it's now dry on, or wet on dry, is going to be pretty intense, okay? Look at that. Oh, got to wet that down. You got to just... I was just thinking I forgot leaves, but... Don't let me miss any spots here. Oh... Uh... This is why it doesn't matter what color this ends up being. Oh, I should have done green. Man, yeah, that's okay. Green would have been better. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. A big, deep green would have been nice. Yeah, well. I like it. I like it. And I'm just coming over and... Wow, yes. Do, oh, golly. This is like taking some thinking now. I need a glass of wine. I've been going too long. Do I have anything tomorrow morning? No. Your Artful Journey members, it's creative time live tomorrow. Oh, oh, sorry. My paintbrush escaped me. Just, just do that. Just smear it. It, there is no mistakes here. Let's just be clear. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to pull out the stops tomorrow. What do we got? I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. I, I'll think about that. Bring your questions, my friends. I have one hand. You guys, if you could see me painting right now, I have one hand in my pocket. Okay, are you getting this? Are you? Okay, your green is making me feel warm. Oh, okay. See, and all that's just going to do, I really just reverse engineered what I did this morning, which is kind of funny to me because 
this is why I leave colors that I mix on my watercolor plate because sometimes I'm like, oh, I love that. I remember when I did it. All right, and I'm just going to go up here and just, like, I want this to be pretty opaque. Okay. Uh-oh, did I miss any spots? Yes, right here. Any more? Any more? Let's skip to the good vibes. All right. I think we're good. Do we got it? Do we got it? it? Shouldn't take long to dry. I'm not done. I just, somebody's screaming. Yeah, skip that part. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, right here. Don't want to skip any. Oh, right here. Okay, hold on. I'm just painting. Bye. Okay. Done. Done. Is it done? Is it done? Leave your watercolors open. Now, I don't really wash off my watercolors. Um, occasionally, like I do clean these off and I take clean the wells. Normally, everything goes in these wells. I'm just not that perfect. I don't care about that. So just so you know, that's this is how my watercolors look. All right. I got it. Now, let's add a couple of more details. And then we're done. Oh, there we go. It is tomorrow, Creative Time Live. And we're working in watercolor pencils. I think we are. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? Oh, I feel like anybody feel like they've got a splatter or something or something in this? Does is there a is there a splatter in the room? I hear. Hold on, I'm looking at my pens. I'm looking at my pins. Yes. Do we feel it? Am I going to? Oh, it's still wet. It's not wet here. Oh, no. You know what we feel? I know what we feel. Hold on. Oh, well, I got to finish that thought. That was not a complete thought. That was, that was literally not a complete thought. That, okay. So we, we understand that this goes here. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> I know what we want. Either. Oh, Denise. Okay, good. Tomorrow, tonight. It's a date, Denise. What is this? Oh, no, that's not it. Sorry. That's the false alarm. I'm going to grab. Nobody get mad at me. I'm going to grab white paint. White. I'm, I'm looking for white paint and a liner brush. Why? Because it's my artwork and I have approximately five minutes, minutes to finish this. Uh, five minutes. That's not a long time. Who knows the song by Tanya Tucker called Five Minutes? You got five minutes. Tell me what I needed to hear. I'm, I, it's going to take me five minutes to find freaking white paint around here. Okay, don't worry. I got it. Yeah, God. Five minutes. All right. Okay, here I go. Liner brush. And another brush falling on the ground. <gasps> yes, Reba. Yes. That's not much time to change my mind. It'll take a miracle, no doubt. And you got five minutes to figure it out. You can stop, but please don't leave me. And end with I love you. And if you'd only kiss me. A uh, Posca pen. The way you used to do. You would see a miracle come through. Yes. You got five minutes. I five minutes. Ah, three minutes. Really figure this out. And did I pull it together? 
Now I want more details on this. So I'm just gonna go a little bit over because my time is worth it. And so is this. I gotta be careful because Delta Dawn, what's the you go? Oh, yes! A little pop of color is all I needed. Okay, I think I'm not done, but I think I am done. Okay, hold on. No, I'm not done. I'm not done done. I'm sort of done. I'm just not done done. Sometimes I can't stop myself, and Anne's going to say, you're done. Okay, now I'm going to come in here with the aquarellable pencil and add a little more shading because I can't help myself. And yes, I'm going into the wet paint right now, but it's not going to, I just want more shading. Okay. Anne's like, I'm proud of you, but I'm worried about you. Oh. There's no white on there. Okay. Who minds if I go five minutes over? I mean, it's not the end of the world. You guys can tune out. Well, nobody seems to be tuning out, so I think I'm doing okay. Hold on. Now I've got pens all over the joint. Okay. Okay. I just like to add to the intensity, and that's all I want to do. All I want to do is have some fun. No, I'm not the only one. Da, 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 da. All I want to do. I'm going to sleep like a baby. So watercolor pencils tomorrow night, uh, your artful journey, kiddos. Um, I would grab some watercolor paper. Your Q&A time. Oh, there's no white in there. How did this happen? All I want to do. Is this the part you like where I'm rushing and I'm stressed and I'm like, I can do this? Okay. Let's have some fun. I love the, oh, you know what we need? Little polka dots. Yes. Okay. Now, normally... I don't bite off more than I can chew, and I finish my artwork. But sometimes it's fun to just have a little fun with it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now you tell me which ones are stamped and which ones are not. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the back of your brush acts... Oh, that was awfully large. Okay. The back of your brush acts like a polka medatter. All right. <sighs> Anybody thinking I need to rest after this? <sighs> what do we got? 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 Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Just a little shading because a little shading does us all a little bit of good when we put our foundation on in the morning. Okay, good, good, good. Well, we got any. Okay, this is not Gorillable Pencil. By the way, on my blog in the following couple of days is a lovely little video and a week recap of all the supplies I use. I include all of that, a video. Uh, if you need to know and you want to know where to get the supplies, uh, it's on there as well. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. I need a sharpener. Uh, and that goes on my website and on Pinterest and on a homing pigeon that will deliver it to your house. I usually don't go over, so I'm sorry about that. I just have a lot to say today. And I just decided to do something a little bit more fun. I'm just going around the edge right now. Okay, I think somebody's going to have to do a dictionary. If Hatomi was here right now, she would say, uh, Pokemon dots or, uh, yeah. All right, I'm not going to do any more. When does your artful journey open? Okay, I feel like I need to splatter something, and I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. One more. One more. I know everybody right now is saying, 
please don't do it. And do you, can you answer those lovely questions? And if they want to get on the weight, I know I'm just throwing this. Okay. That's a spot of black paint. Because we're meeting tomorrow night. Okay. This is a fan brush. This is water. Water meets fan brush. Ready? Ready? Do, 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 Not too many. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Don't do too much. Okay? Because there's a too much point. I think I have too much energy. All right. Now I'm going to take take this off. Okay. I promise there was an end point to this painting. And I could do this all night long. Um, the good news is I'm heating up my tape as I'm moving along. Um, doors to your artful journey are opening. <laughs> I probably don't know the exact date. It's like, it's in March. And there's a gift for the first 25 members, which I have packaged up over here. Oh, Sarah, I will show you my top because it actually is two-sided. You can wear it front ways or back ways. And everybody's waiting for my reveal. Or they're just seeing if I screwed up this painting. Look at that. Okay. We're done. Is anybody glad that's over? Whoa. Here we go. All right. I need to rest. That was there before, just so you know. But I could get rid of it if I wanted to. Oh, you guys. If you're in your artful journey, we're having a meeting tomorrow. Okay. It's done. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, does anybody need to rest after? <laughs> oh, I went five minutes over. I think I started five minutes late. You are so beautiful to me. Who painted with me? If you're in your artful journey, please, would you share your artwork? And if you are not, and you wanna still share your artwork, you can send it to me. Okay, um, Kelly noticed. Now see, I feel like there is a seam right here, but I've worn this shirt three times. Wait, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I've worn this shirt three times and just figured out today that the tag is right here. So I've been wearing it backwards because why would the tag be here? So just so you know, here's the, <laughs> okay. Anyway, I had a completely different outfit on when I ended. I wore this up to Santa Barbara with my daughter and she said, mom, I love your shirt. And it was on backwards. Um, so everybody's noticing my nails and my, all right. So this, by the way, this, by the way, was done with the stamping and the drawing first. This, by the way, was done with the watercolors and the stamping and the drawing after. So I reverse engineered it. I, uh, what's the word when the, the chefs take apart a meal? D something it. D something. Deconstruct it. I deconstructed it and I reverse engineered it. Okay. Thank you very much. By the way, uh, thank you. I do love this shirt. And today uh, somebody asked me for the link for it. It's on my um, Amazon, what was Tracy wearing page? Because I got it off of Amazon. And I've worn it three times this way. 
I wore it today the other way and realized I had a whole different shirt on for some reason. All right. Have a wonderful evening. By the way, if you would like to sign up for the Pretty in Pink Challenge, it is open. Doors are open. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Every week there is just something new, fun, and exciting. I went five minutes over today. I guess I just had a little bit more in me than I usually do. Uh, Kimberly Woods had asked for watercolors in an art journal. We went there. My new stamps are available for immediate delivery. I'm ordering another couple of dozen of each set. And my new, I've got a fourth set that is there. All right. Thank you very much. I will see. Uh, Denise, I hope you warmed up. And thank you for a great night. Uh, thank you, Anne, for being in the background and help, help, helping, helping so much. Those of you who I see every week, I love you guys so much. Those of you who are new, I hope you enjoyed. I know we went a little fast. Don't worry. When we do the challenge, I break it down into bite-sized pieces. We will complete that piece. I am not a big lover of the UFOs, unfinished objects or projects. I don't know what they call it. Um, and from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you guys for the time that I get with you. Because uh, uh, Cassie said, I think I need more paint. Now you do. We can do it with just the basics. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. It's uh, Thank you. Always enjoy our time together. I feel the same exact way. Okay. Um, again, my name is Tracy Weinzaffel. I'm at Tracy Weinzaffel Studios. Your Artful Journey members, I will see you tomorrow night. Do not worry. I did not expend all my creative energy. That will be tomorrow night. I already have your March content ready to go. And I mixed it up. Oh, for those of you who are, oh, I'm not going to show them. Nope, I'm not going to show them. That's it. You got to wait. Um, have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you guys all. I will be here next Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same place, same time, same studio. I love you guys all. Talk to you soon. Uh, don't forget, if you are looking for the replays of things, everything does get posted to my YouTube channel and um, my blog, and my blog is there. I'm going to take pictures of the mess I have left. And I thank you guys. I'll have it cleaned up in about five minutes. Talk to you all soon. Have a great night.